The president has made it clear that this is a national effort and he has sought to address it and he has sought to engage Ghanaians regularly. Beyond the president, the Minister of Information has built a very credible platform where technicians, medics and public institutions involved directly in the front line in the fight against COVID have come forward and expressed views about how to go about this process. So yes, Roland, when was the last time you heard me speak? The New Patriotic Party as an organization, as an institution, has made a conscious effort to support the president in his call that this is a fight, a common fight against a common enemy, an invisible enemy, which is the coronavirus. And therefore, the party's posture has been to support the president's efforts to avoid creating the impression that this is a partisan political fight. And in that context, if you notice, many of the media houses must be commended for not engaging in the usual MPP and DC paneling over the past month. A few times that you've had party people come into the studio, and I must commend the now Honorable Deputy Minister of Health, who was then government spokesperson, who was the one who held the ball essentially and, and, and educated the public effectively. You mean a cowboy? Yes. And, and it's now uh, Deputy, Honorable Deputy Minister uh, of Health. So the, the government has positioned itself to fight a national fight. Yes, we appreciate that the opposition has to find a way of, of doing something about it. And, and one of the ways they have is to make statements in Parliament. We all remember the infamous call for uh, the Honorable uh, Member for Northton or Black was saying that we should have brought in students from China. At that time, if we had panicked and we had responded, perhaps Rana would not be where we are with our control efforts, which are way ahead. You mean we would have brought people in without quarantining them? We uh, wouldn't have, we, at the time, we didn't even know the protocols. At the time the call was made, we didn't even know the protocols. We didn't know the transmission methods. We didn't know anything enough about this. Now we know the social distancing is critical. We are wearing masks, and yet, if we are not careful, if we don't adhere to the protocols, we don't know which direction we are. Don't forget, we are still in COVID. We are still fighting. It's a battle. Notwithstanding the attempt to politicize, it's a battle. We are still in COVID, and, and we don't know exactly what's going to happen next. So to the extent that now we know some protocols, we are adhering to those protocols. It requires self-discipline. It requires that we stay focused and that we still have a mindset that does not attempt to establish a parallel process, but actually supports, if even it's criticism, sound criticism. <laughs>